Hey everybody, it's Professor Evans here and we are starting week two of English 130. And week two is going to focus on setting and why it is important in a story. So I'm sure you can remember from any English class you've taken in elementary school or middle school or high school um, that setting is basically where your story takes place and when it takes place. Meaning, does it take place in the past, the present, the future? Does it take place during a war? Does it take place in a faraway land? Um, and the setting can be just as important as a character. Sometimes a, to a story can be totally changed if the setting of the story is changed. So I'm going to talk about what I mean in this slideshow. So why is setting important? So some of you may recognize this setting. This is the Overlook Hotel from one of the greatest horror movies ever, The Shining. Um, so first thing we have to recognize about setting is that it has an impact on the characters and the decisions that they make. So if we're in a particular setting, like let's say um, we are lost in the woods or our character is lost in the woods, that setting is going to have an impact on what that character chooses to do. Um, and where that character chooses to go. Second, it can create conflict for our characters. And some of you probably recognize this, the bat signal up there. Uh, this is Gotham City. So sometimes the settings uh, can set up problems for our character to solve. Um, if you think about Batman, if you think about any dystopian movie like The Hunger Games, um, if you think about any story that's set in the middle of a war, these settings are going to create problems for our characters to deal with. And our, our character would not have to deal with these problems if they lived in or existed or the story took place in another setting. So it also creates mood or emotion. Uh, it creates an emotional reaction for us, and sometimes it sets an emotion for a particular scene. If the author wants you to feel a sense of dread or a sense of nervousness, they're going to write their setting most of the time in a way that will make you feel that. If an author wants you to feel romantic or um, relaxed or calm or peaceful, much like this scene from The Notebook does, um, they're going to, in this case, they're going to put this scene, look, it's a beautiful romantic scene. They're out on a boat in the middle of... Um, this body of water here and the trees and sunlight, right? It's a nice, peaceful scene. Um, I, I would imagine if this scene took place during a breakup or it was going to be a big fight between these two characters, they may set this a little bit differently. So it's these three things that we want to be aware of when it comes to setting. Okay, It can affect our characters and affect the decisions that they make. It can create conflicts or problems for our characters. And it can sometimes help contribute to the overall emotion, emotion or mood of our story. So I want you to be thinking about that as you read through the text this week. And keep in mind a couple things. First, how does the setting impact the story? And second, how would this story be different if the setting were different? All right, that's it for now. Have a great week.